Okay, let's give you guys another example. So in this video, we're going to determine if this series will converge or if it will diverge. So the, the, the well, in order for you to do this, you must you must have this ingrained in your mind. Um, uh, for for p being greater than zero, the limit of this tends to zero. Um, we've done this before, so try to have this ingrained in your mind. So so when you look at this, um, just know just try and have this in your mind. P x to the power of anything bigger than zero will be much much bigger than the natural log of x um, as as x tends to infinity. Try to have this in your mind. Bury this in your mind somewhere. So natural log natural log climbs. Uh, it climbs really slowly. Even if you have um, x to the power of 0 0.00003, eventually this thing here will, will 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 overtake the natural law. It will overtake the natural law. So so um, x um, x to the power of anything will will eventually be much much bigger than the natural law. Natural law climbs really slowly. So eventually, eventually, this thing will overtake the natural law. So, so have this um, buried in your mind somewhere. So, uh, so, so we've done this in the past. So, if I were to ask you to um, to to find the limit of this as as x tends to infinity, you would use L'Hopital's rule. So, um, so using L'Hopital's rule, differentiate this. That will then give you this. Differentiate this. That will then give you this. Tidy this up. That will then give you this. So for p being greater than zero, you can see that this thing here, um, with the whole thing here, will head towards zero. So you know, you know that um, you know that this thing here will be bigger than this. Okay. So going back to here, we are trying to find, we are trying to find, well, we are trying to determine if this will converge or if this will diverge. But in order for you to 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 determine that, you need to know this. Okay. So so now now I hope you. Um, you realize this. So now let's put it to use. So, so um, we are trying to determine if this thing here will converge or if it will diverge. So let's break this up. Break this up as one block multiplying another block. So this block here, you will know it's just going to get smaller and smaller. It, it's heading towards zero. It's, it's just going to get smaller and smaller. This thing here is also getting smaller and smaller. So when you have one thing that's getting smaller and smaller, uh, and, and then you've got another thing that's getting smaller and smaller. Then, then you can say that um, you, you can actually say this. You can actually say the combination of the two will be much, much smaller than than this, than this. Or you can say the combination of the two is much, much smaller than than this thing here. You can actually make this statement because, um, for example, if you look at this here, you've got. You know this thing is getting smaller and smaller. You know this thing here is getting smaller and smaller. Let's just imagine this is 0.8. Let's just imagine this. Let's just, let's imagine this to be 0.2. So you've got something. Uh, you've got a small number multiplying another small number. The combination of the two will be much much smaller. So so here you've got you've got one thing that's getting smaller and smaller, and then you've got another thing that's getting smaller and smaller. Then the combination of the two will be much much smaller than than this thing here. Or you can say the combination of the two will be much much smaller than this thing here. So so when you when you have something that's getting smaller and smaller, this thing here is getting smaller and smaller. Then you can actually make this statement, or you can make this statement. As it, well, if if you get a graph plotter and plot this, get a graph plotter and plot um, plot this. That will then give you the red line here, and then uh, get a graph plotter and plot this. That will then give you the blue line. You can see that the combination of the two is much much smaller than than just one of the blocks. Just one of the blocks. So um, so it could be this block or it could be this block. So the point here is that when you've got something that's getting smaller and smaller, this thing here is getting smaller and smaller. Then the combination of the two will be um, will be much much smaller than than just one. Okay. As as it turns out, this thing's useless. We are going to make use of this. Okay, so hang on. So um, we are trying to determine if this thing will, will, will diverge or if it will converge. So we break it up, uh, and then now, 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 um, now, um, uh, now, hang on, let me think. Uh, yeah. So so you've got the, the combination of the two here. Well, the the combination of the two will be much much smaller than uh, than just one of the two one one of the blocks. We, let's let's just take this block. So uh, so this thing here 
will be much much smaller than than this thing here as as uh, n tends to infinity. Well, this thing here, you by now you should um, by now you should know that this thing here is going to to uh, to diverge. It's a harmonic series. It's going to diverge. But as it turns out, this piece of information is useless because um, because here you've got this thing which you know is going to diverge. But then this thing here is being smaller. This thing here, this series here, what we're trying to to um, to determine. Well, it starts below this because it's less than. So it could still diverge, or it could still uh, it could converge. So it did, as it turns out, this thing here is useless. You breaking it up like this is useless. But if you were to break it up like this, if you were to break it up like this, um, rather than rather than breaking it up like this over n and then one over n, um, rather than breaking it up like like this to the power of one, break it up to the power of a half because because remember p being p if p is p is any number greater than zero so even if you have um, natural log over n to the power of zero point zero 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 five say um, this thing here you know it's going to head towards zero meaning you know this block here is going to get um, smaller and smaller and smaller the point here is that you know this thing here is getting smaller and smaller and smaller you know this thing here is getting smaller and smaller and smaller so so the combination of the two will be much much smaller than just one of the two i'm going to select this one i could select this one but i'm going to make use of this one here so wait there you know this thing here is going to get smaller and smaller because it's heading because of this you know this thing here is getting smaller and smaller you know this thing here is going to get smaller and smaller the combination of the two will be smaller than just one of the two i'm going i'm going to select this one which will be this well this thing here so hang on. We know that this thing here would be less than or equal to this thing here. Well, this thing here is going to um, to to converge, and by now you should be able to tell that this thing here converges. We've done this many times. So this thing here is going to converge. Well, this thing here being less than, so it has to start below this. It cannot diverge because it has to be always be less than or equal to. So it has no choice but to converge. So this thing, because this thing here converge, because this is always less than or equal to, it has no choice but also to converge. So therefore, this series will converge. Therefore, therefore the, therefore the whole series will converge. Okay.